Hello everyone, welcome again. We will continue today with this um, series of tutorials modeling Optimus Prime Power Master. I received um, an advice from the one that knows about this, this particular um, action figure that this wheels that I put right behind the the leg should be in the waist um, part which I'm assuming are this right behind um, this this like purple part I don't know if you can see the purple color uh, because it's pretty dark but anyways trust me when I say it's purple here so I'm not sure if those are the legs so um, I hope the uh, the guy that is uh, that actually requested this this tutorials um, let me know if they are uh, uh, correctly placed or not anyways we will do what what we can <laughs> so I will select just one it could be a uh, vertice an edge or a face like in this case and I will say control L so I select all um, the whole vertices that that conform this particular mesh. Remember, we made this wheel from um, from a circle, and we just extruded it and deleted some faces and so forth and so on. So, but it's still a circle. Okay. Uh, something I always forget, and there you have it. The, um, the monitor for keyboard and also for mouse so I guess it should be just about here um, as you can see these wheels should be maybe there of course we will have to delete these two faces here just like this, uh, X and delete faces. So, you know, the, the whole thing again, one face or vertice or edge or whatever, control L, and we will place it and put that away. Let's say just about there. Actually, I should do it like about here and of course I will go ahead and delete maybe a couple of faces here X faces so the wheels are you know better placed I feel the wheels are kind of small but we will get worried about it just at the end of it doesn't matter that much right now since we're just you know kind of sketching the whole thing that's more than a simple sketch, but hey, um, let's call it just like that right now. So, um, since this bottom part here are not uh, wheels, we can just go ahead and select maybe the edge part, select these edges right here. And whoa, I was saying <laughs> selecting sometimes these things happen, okay? Just like this. And let me see if I can call breach edge loops just like that. You see, it? instead of creating a single face, let me undo this and. Uh, explain to you what was that instead of just pressing F and create a single um, face we create a bridge between this um, every single edge okay so again let me bring it it breach edge loops just like that so we can close them up now the same with this two guys here bridge and there you have it of course of 
course if you want to respect uh, geometry we should be able to do something like this and leave the same amount of faces um, that we have in the rest of the leg okay just like this this one here whoa sorry this one has to oh come on can you leave this guy I'm talking about me of course okay it's done but however is not exactly the same if we go to here to um, vertices select or vertex select you can see here that this little friends are two separated um, vertices so as you might uh, thinking right now what we're gonna do it's alt M let's say at first we go to the next one right here Alt M at first we go down 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 oh my god I got old okay here we go come on here we go okay Alt M at first Alt M at first and we're getting there don't worry don't worry we could do the same by bridging the like part by part or or face by face should be the word um, but uh, we did it this way we finish this way all right so we're going to do the same with these guys here I guess this is yeah this is just a single mesh so select the two vertices alt M at first alt M at first alt M at first and you know that's the deal I know sometimes it's annoying uh, of course there must be um, easier methods to do this uh, and of course if I would have known that there wasn't any wheel uh, in that part well then the, all of this thing wouldn't have been necessary but I didn't know so my apologies alright let's take just one single vertice Mm, no, maybe not just one, but the whole line at the back of um, the leg and press the O key so we bring on our um, proportional editing. And we do something like this. And now on the set axis, just a little bit down, so we can emulate this back part again I, I'm not sure if that's effectively a wheel or not um, the guy that told me to make this uh, well he said hey the wheel is not there the wheel is at the waist part so here you have it my friend the wheel is at the waist again and very 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 probably <laughs> we will do both of these wheels uh, bigger. I s I'm saying both because the other two ones at the other side, remember, uh, they're just a mirror of the original ones that are on the right side. Alright. The arms. As 
you can see the arms are well this part of the arm this big part here it's a little bit smaller than the chest so or maybe it's the same but actually it, if you see this part since it's a little bit uh, moved it's not exactly uh, attached to this part it's a little bit moved to the right in this case um, should be maybe the same size that the chest than the chest I'm sorry so as you may imagine we will deselect everything with A now shift A a cube uh, which is here whoa 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 ah okay little thing here uncheck clipping do not forget to uncheck clipping oh and um, deactivate proportional editing or otherwise what you just saw for sure is going to happen okay now we will do this approximately the same size that this part of the chest so S and just about there maybe they are too wide or too thick not wide but thick so SX we will scale this in the x-axis and we will place it just about there actually let me do this we will create I don't know if this is going to be accurate or not but um, you know my logic tells me that should be something that links the chest to the arm so maybe a cylinder could uh, do the job here but for now we're going to leave it just like that we're going to select the material which should be metal red and assign it of course and now face select just the bottom face and we will go ahead and create an inset just like that with I remember I used the I key now E to extrude just like this which should be about there and we will do just something similar to for this part here again I for the inset maybe let me grab this in the Y axis quote just that face right there so when I extrude it on the set axis it will be basically at the same um, level than this one here okay right now um, we will create this forearm with uh, another cube of course we could do with the same cube, but hey, let's just add another cube. Deselect everything, shift A, cube. Now, just like this, let me drag this in the set axis. And now, as you can see, um, this is basically as wide as this. So we will leave it right now just this um, the thickness just like that so S Y just about there maybe a little at the back on the Y axis and now S X just like this now let me select the bottom part and just like this as you can see it should go a little bit even okay just about there but besides as you can see um this thing 
increases in, in, in size so let me do besides we have some sort of division here so odd or and just like that besides I will increase the size of uh, this part so just like that and as you can see this face right here is kind of pushed just like this and let me rotate that face on the x-axis Rx and push it again All right. actually it's not just pushed but I don't know as far as I can see it's kind of extruded correct me if I'm wrong so just a little of extrusion here with the E key, just like that, and yeah, basically there, right? All right. Now for the hands, we can do as I said before. As you can see, both of this um, fist are closed which means that um, we can emulate a hand instead of uh, actually modeling the hand which would be a very very long uh, tutorial we can just go ahead and model it uh, or, or fake the model of the hand okay what we're going to do it's just another cube shift a cube and take it down as you can see you know I don't like this one let me just just like that and our X maybe this one is the one that should be uh, rotated and that's just a little bit okay I think it's better L or control L any one of both will, uh, will work at least uh, for this moment and let me scale this in every single axis and place it correctly just like that okay maybe scale this in the x-axis just a little a little bit more and rotate it in the y-axis R Y just a little bit another cylinder probably will join this part with um, this part of the arm with the hand but for now we can go ahead and start by modeling the fingers so four fingers for, for this part you know the, the toe will be later so it's just like that and um, we will need to add more geometry to this again with um, edge loops maybe just like out here and way more edge loops like this you will see why in a minute this um, I already have a tutorial in, on how to model a hand it's in Spanish though but um, if you want me to do an English version or maybe to add some um, subtitles I will be gladly doing that but let me know okay please let me know now let me turn this just a little bit so you can see what I'm going to do is just take this in just a little remember as you cannot do that that much um, maybe okay let me undo this 
there are actually two ways well no there are two ways the wrong one and the right one so the right one should be at least for what we're going to do right now which is not a real hand but just a, a model of, or, or, or a fake hand as the matter of fact so we should extrude this just a little bit inwards just like that every single one so we are faking again we are faking the separation between the fingers and I will tell you again if you want me to wait a minute one two three four five. oh my goodness this um, Optimus has polydactylia <laughs> oh my god sorry sorry I didn't notice it um, so hey no worries no sweats we'll just go ahead and delete these faces and problem solved okay now one two three four I'm still one finger ahead how oh, come ah oh, come on don't play games with me now this ribbon that are here that is here sorry is um, completely useless so let's do this and of course this small guys here come on ah I know I'm wasting your time you don't need to tell me shame on me <laughs> all right better now okay one two three four okay finally now extrude it just like that you know even maybe more so the separation gets a little bit more deep uh, and this one right there well actually I didn't need that one but I did it already okay now this part here extrude it a little bit more extrude it extrude it and of course we will need to delete this little faces here uh, um, remember I'm doing this uh, for the sake of the time uh, of course uh, it would be way better if we model a real hand instead of this thing here but and again oh how I hate that um, <laughs> sorry it's just a car outside my house alright and there you have it there's the first part of our hand we should let me first get rid of this little face there just like that and no wait I shouldn't yeah. Wait. Yeah. I'm changing my mind as you can see like over and over and over again but um, this is just because I, I need to okay all right let's continue with this um, we have right now at least a big part of the of the hand if you can call it like that so I'll breach again that part will be the beginning of our 
thumb said toe, right? And now I know it's not. So my apologies again. Uh, and as you can see, in every hand, the thumb, if you are facing it just like this, should be right in the front. Okay? Just like this. And um, let me take this edge here and pull it. Actually, push it. Y axis just a little bit because it's from here that we will start um, extruding this just to simulate a thumb that will come here just like this. All right, and I made a little mistake. I didn't see. Okay, the right way. Just like that. And now, um, since we are just faking it, we could go ahead and keep on extruding it just like this. Let me, um, with the number three of the number pad, you can. Um, see it on the, on the side, okay, on the right side, so just like this, we just made a fake thumb, mm. but not the way I want it though, alright, better much much better and now we can go ahead and make this create faces just here just like this and of course faces here uh, whoops no sorry wrong vertice now we're cooking. So, another face here. And finally, we can extrude. Let me add an edge loop right, right here. And we can go ahead and select these four faces to create a nice and beautiful face just right there. Okay. And remember that the, the thumb must be separated for the rest of the hand. And actually, you know what? These faces right here. The thumb needs to be closed since it's obviously a very uh, independent part. But these guys here, hey, you see this? Hmm. All right. I was saying, <laughs> this guy here, these guys here, are uh, fingers, so they should not be a single face. So we will go ahead and try to model the rest of the hand. Okay. So let me deselect and reselect these parts just like that and I will try to make a very crazy thing here so please bear with me but first let me delete those vertices there delete those ones and those ones too uh, we'll make our work way easier there you have it as you can see we are just doing what we have to that's why with that face it doesn't matter really so um, right now we can select 
deselect this faces and come here. Ah, this ones are single ones. So the C key will and the left mouse button will help you to grab more vertices at once. So now we will go ahead and extrude this but first on the x-axis to do it properly then the z-axis don't worry we will pull this on the x-axis just a little bit more and now again on the x-axis just just about there Maybe I should pull this up, and we will pull also all of these guys on the set axis just a little bit. Remember, we are just faking hands, okay? You want me to uh, make a tutorial on how to real model hands? Well, actually, I already have a tutorial which is in Spanish on how to model a hand and if you want me to do it I can go ahead and um, make some subtitles for that okay I'm going to delete those faces because that's what we need to and of course we will go ahead and select these oh uh, no C key and just like like if you're painting and grab this oh 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 I forgot to delete that face now as I set the C key and pull this just about here of course you want to delete that face the back face too and we have just baked a hand so don't worry we will do what we have to do we'll go ahead and select these guys here and create a face and now those ones and since they are behind the thumb you can go ahead and press the C key the set key and as you can see there are no um, at least here any face to work with so we will go ahead and create one we already have one here so control E edge slide and do it just about here and we will create edge loops for each finger so you know we can close the faces that we have just about here just like this and now, if you want to close the hand, you just need to come here and select, whoa, not that one, this one here, create a single face, which is a quad at the end, and that's the important part, maybe push this a little bit, yeah, it's okay. And now you can go to edge, select, deselect the whole thing. And select this one, this one, this one, and that one. Oh, no. That one right there. And now that one here. I really don't think it's going to work, but oh, it did. Okay. Wonderful. Uh -huh. No, it didn't. You see? Okay. So 
what we have to do then is extrude this in the z axis. Wait. I feel I have selected. Oh! This one right here. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, won't allow me to. I don't know what happened. But I will need to select again the edges for um for the fingers. Alright. Now E Z just like this and maybe like that. Just like that. Uh, oh, I see now. Can select this and push this in the x axis, and maybe these guys up here are too high. So let me grab this down just a little bit. And of course, we need to close these faces right here. So here, 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 and here. Press F. Now here, 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 and here. I guess. Here. Like that. And push this just a little bit. Well, doesn't matter. Leave it just right there. And now, of course, we need to tweak <laughs> the fingers, the thumb, to be more specific. Just like this. And of course, it's too big. The bottom part, and it doesn't look like a finger, so we just did it. And once again, we are not animating this, right? So uh, that's why we are taking a lot of freedom <laughs> to do this um, this modeling. Okay, if we were to model this, um, um, I mean to animate this, then it's another thing, okay? But we will not, okay? Right, maybe this edge here, this one. Let me pull this just a little bit so we can see better okay now I want to close this of course so let me do it by select that vertice and press F and the other part this one will be oh no remember always try to model in quads if you are to if you are into modeling try to do it in quads always okay maybe rotate a little bit in the y axis so it stays just like that okie dokie Of course, we will work details for the whole robot, uh, and we are still missing these um, escapes. Maybe I don't know, um, but we will work that and more details next week. For now, thank you very, very much for following the tutorials. I hope you give them uh, a try to every single one. And if you come up with better ideas on how to model or how to uh, maybe animate 
this you are welcome to um, share with the community that's why we are a community okay thank you very much i am alberto chavez we will see us again hopefully next week until then may free and open software have a long 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 life